Howdy everyone, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing the do-it-yourself paper tuning attachment. This is going to be attached to my do-it-yourself archery target, so if you haven't seen that video yet, click the link up here and take a look at it. Also, if you're interested in the upcoming content or some everyday things that I do, shooting my bow, target practice, things like that, check me out on Instagram. Let's go ahead and get started taking a look at the materials and tools needed to build this. The materials needed for this project are three one inch by 10 foot PVC pieces, one half inch by 10 feet PVC piece. You don't really need a full 10 foot piece on this half inch, um, but I didn't have uh, four feet left over. So if you can buy a four foot piece or, or something smaller, I would go ahead and do that. Um, and then you'll have two one inch 90 degree elbows. And then you'll have two one inch to half inch 90 degree elbows, four one inch end caps, and then I have eight PVC clamps. And those are actually just conduit clamps. I think that's all you really need for this. The tools for this project are going to be a tape measure and a Sharpie. You're also going to need something to cut the PVC with. So here I have some Husky PVC cutters. You can use a, a chop saw or a circular saw or even just a, a plain old hacksaw if that's all you have. And then I also have a rubber mallet. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started making our cuts. So I'm going to do the side pieces that are going to extend out and hold our cross beams. Um, for these pieces, I'm going to make about 44 to 45 inches long. And so that'll be the depth of the target, which is 14 inches. Plus, you want to make sure you clear your arrow. So my arrows are about 28 inches or so. Um, so I'm going to want to make sure I have plenty of room so that when I'm shooting through the paper, it's not messing with the arrow flight. Um, so to be safe, maybe I'll add an extra four inches uh, to that. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting that. That's going to be about 46 inches. So I'm gonna use my first one as my sample. And so we'll actually now need four of those pieces. Your third PVC piece, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna measure the width of your target. So my target's about 37 and a quarter. Um, I'm gonna cut it to 37, because it's gotta go ahead and fit in these pieces here. Um, and I, th I think you lose about a, a quarter inch. So I'll cut it to 37 and kind of try and eye it up and put it together and, and see how that works. So I went ahead and eyed it up with my target. I think I'm gonna have to cut off about another quarter inch here. I do have some extra PVC. So if you're interested in some other do-it-yourself videos, you should check out my do-it-yourself bow and arrow stand. With the half inch PVC, you're going to want it the same length as the one we just cut. All right, so now that we have all of our pieces cut here, I'm going to go through our cuts so that you know what they are. We have four one inch pieces that are cut at 46 inches. And then we have one one inch piece cut at 36 and a half inches and one half inch piece cut at 36 half and a half inches. So now we'll go ahead and get started assembling it. So you're going to grab one of your 46, one in, 46 inch, one inch pieces of PVC. And you're going to put your one inch elbow on it. And then on the other side is where you'll put the cap, but we're going to wait on that. With your other two 46 inch, one inch pieces of PVC, you're going to take your one inch by half inch elbow and put those on. Now you're going to go ahead and install your cross bracing. So I'm going to do the half inch piece first. So here you have your two pieces that are going to be installed on your target. The one sitting kind of on the top is the one inch cross bracing and the one on the bottom is the half inch cross bracing and that's going to be what's holding your parchment paper 
and the one on the bottom is going to be what you attach the bottom piece of your paper to. Now I've got the target out here. I'm going to go ahead and put my one inch clamps on it and start installing the paper tuning target. And for those of y'all that haven't met my pup over there, that's Witten. Hey, say hi, bud. We're going to go ahead and install these one inch clips here. So I'm going to install them on the edges, you know, and you can kind of choose how long you want your paper roll to hang down and whatnot. Um, I'm probably going to go about an inch or so from the top. So let's see. We'll start with the hole at two inches is what we'll do. And so I'm just using the one and a quarter inch screws, the same ones that I used on this target. So I'm going to make mine, oh, probably about 32 inches long here from the top. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little line down the middle of this and so that when I feed the parchment paper through, it'll, it'll hold on to it and grip to it. So I'm going to use my little saw here. Um, you can use a hacksaw or something else, but this just makes it a lot easier. Paper is just going to go right inside here. All right, so there you go. This is the paper tuning attachment to the do-it-yourself archery stand. So I went ahead and got a roll of parchment paper here. You can use whatever you want. Um, I've seen people use butcher paper, wax paper. There's a lot of different options. I mean, you can just use printer paper. But So I'll show you kind of what I did here at the bottom. And one note on this, you know, when you're uh, putting in those clamps, you want to make sure you don't put the screws in really tight. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to get these pipes in. And also, don't glue your PVC. Otherwise, you won't be able to get your rolls on. All right, so this is what I did is I cut this little piece here. And so you can kind of just feed it through. You know, and that can hold your paper still so that you can take your shots. Now let's go out to the range and I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and install this and take a couple shots. So you can see I've already taken a few shots here. I'll just show you how easy it is to kind of move it down, get some more paper. And we'll take a few more shots. So I'll shoot a bear shaft here. So I definitely need to get my bow into tune here before hunting season starts. But you can see that the paper tuning attachment actually works pretty well and is pretty convenient uh, with my setup here. So if you enjoyed this, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel for more content similar. <laughs>